Welcome back to my channel, Debt Free CF. I'm doing my February 2018 budget check-in because we're about halfway through the month. I've got a couple numbers that I'm putting in that I'll go over and then I'll just briefly um, review the entire layout that you're looking at. I'm not doing exact numbers or showing um, what falls into the category of what is personally my income versus um, the amount that's contributed from my roommate partner who pays half the rent, half of some of the bills and so forth, um, because that's not really relevant. And then um, the donation stuff is also um, private. But basically I have an estimated income that did not include the tax refund I was expecting only because even though I knew roughly what that was, didn't know how quickly it would process, so I didn't want it to be a guarantee when I was going through my budget. But I did include that in my actual because as of February 5th, my federal and my state tax refunds both cleared in my bank. I did direct deposit on those. I filed on January 29th and I got the deposit um, in by, I think the third is when it showed up as pending and then cleared by the fifth. So that was pretty quick and I'll do a whole nother video just on um, some tax stuff in a little bit. But I've got an estimated income that's not 100% complete because I'll still be getting another paycheck this month in my actual column, but for now it's about 4,000. I've got a number of different transactions where I did some grocery shopping, there was a lunch out, and there was also a um, dinner out. Neither of us is big on holiday mushy stuff that is corporate America, that kind of stuff. But you know, I we were just doing a kind of standard date night. So a number of different transactions about halfway through the month. We're about halfway through the month's budget for food, so that's fine, lining up perfect. Utilities was already in there planned. I get that before the month even begins um, because we're technically ahead a month where when the month ends, then you get the bill sent to you. And so when you pay it, you're actually paying last month's usage. Did some driving the first weekend of February to visit my mom. So gassed up the car. The car actually needs gas again. So there'll be some more added to this. I don't usually budget what an estimate is, but if I was going to estimate, I'd say probably 25 to $30 a month. Some months I don't pay anything. So that's why I don't bother to fill it in. I can cover $30. I had originally put that we needed to trim the dog's nails. And then I received a thank you gift card from my brother and his girlfriend. They came to visit and they stayed with us. And since they had um, two or three nights of not paying for a hotel, my brother's girlfriend, because I know it wasn't my brother, she thought it would be nice to thank us with a gift card to PetSmart. So that's perfect because I can get the dog's nails done there. And since I had the gift card, I actually did more than just the nails. Um, I don't know if you really want the details, but had his anal glands excreted. I don't want to do that. They are more than happy to do that for me for pay. And I am more than happy to pay them to do it because I don't want to. So um, I'm not going to count that because I didn't count the $75 gift card received in my income. Although if you wanted to be really technical, you could. But since that wasn't cash out of my bank account, I'm not counting it in here. I just wanted to cross that out, but it means that I actually have to change my column to not count it. So here, um, this automatic calculation for some reason um, is not a equation. So I'm going to have to do that anyway. So we want the sum of all of these. I want the sum of all of these squares. Yep, hit enter. But then what I really want is to subtract this amount. And then I'm going to click on the right hand bottom square here and I'm going to drag that to the left. And what that does is it says the formula in here, apply that exact same formula to this box using the column that corresponds. So I've just basically um, redone my work. 
Okay, so now that I've got that number corrected, let's change the numbers just a teeny bit. I don't have any healthcare plans, although I have not yet gotten the flu shot, so I'm actually considering I feel really good. Um, I feel in good health. I don't have anything upcoming that I'm trying to avoid missing if I were to get sick. So I think I'm actually going to get a flu shot, uh, maybe even tomorrow. I don't like shots. I don't like the inconvenience of having to go get them, and then I don't like the soreness in my arm for a day or two, but I'll suck it up. Um, and then car insurance, I save monthly. I've got a number of different small transactions, a few things that I had to pick up throughout the month. Couldn't really tell you what the first two are, although I think they're related to like school books or something I don't know gifted a pair of pajamas to my partner got a cat bed that I wasn't expecting from a thrift store things like uh, I did register for some classes at the junior college so that's pretty low cost but I do have to put that in there and then I did already send $500 to my Roth IRA which means that this year or sorry this month I've maxed out or completed paying for last year's Roth IRA which means my next payments can go towards 2018 um, they just have to be made in separate payments but you can make them in the same month that's not a problem so I will start funding that and most of that will be done with the tax refund so as you can see I've got quite a bit at the end of my month left over that will be for basically putting towards my Roth IRA and then some other saving stuff like a trip to Korea, something like that. So that is my check-in, doing pretty well. And um, when I've got another paycheck near the end of the month, I will catch up with you again. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more how this month completes or my monthly budgets going forward, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also take a look at other channels I'm following if you're trying to find more people. So the channels I follow are individuals that seem to be working off of a single income and usually no kids, although there are a couple couples that I follow that have kids, but mostly I try to stick to uh, what is similar and reflects what I'm doing. Check those out and I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Take care.